Hello, my name is M I G G S. Right. Thanks. Here for Debbie Sorolo, our interpreter. Uh, there's so many people to thank, of course, at the UN uh, who we've uh, dealt with. Uh, Melissa Budnick and um, Oralee Joshimek, if I get the names right, and of course Sergei Ashkoff and Jenny Stanzel and uh, Sarah and Julia. Anyway, it goes on and on. They've been so gracious and welcoming and uh, allowed us to do this. And I owe a an immense gratitude to Mark, who's been a great friend and a mentor and a uh, fellow artist and a therapist, <laughs> because this has been a lot of uh, a lot of details to take care of, and he kept me in check, I think. Um, and of course, this all started, I have to recognize uh, the director of the Westport Library, Bill Harmer, who's out there somewhere, and Chris Timmons, who was the exhibit's director at the time, six years ago, this exhibit appeared at the Westport Library, and it was meant to honor the community that I grew up in, Westport, Connecticut, and honor, uh, and in doing so, I wanted to make sort of an ensemble piece where they were, as a community, a chorus, raising their, their signing voices to uh, express this poem about compassion. Um, so that's Westport, basically it's a cross-section of Westport, all these images, and a lot of you are here, I'm so grateful for them to let me have photographed them, and it's, a, it's beyond belief that they're all, you're all here uh, watching this. Um, essentially, I don't think of this as an art exhibit, it's a poetry exhibit, uh, poetry of Emily Dickinson, the beautiful, timeless poetry. It's the poetry in motion of sign language, it's the visual, tactile poetry of Braille that's in that beautiful Braille wheel over there. Um, and it's the power of all of us coming together like words in a poem to uh, deliver the, you know, this message of healing and compassion that's needed so much. And uh, I'm so proud to be part of this story that we've all written together. So, thank you. Mm -hmm.